Thank you very much. Uh, our presentation together with Peter Gar, who was speaking uh, just before and putting some questions to the previous presenters. So we are, we, are, um, we are talking about the efficiency drivers of the new wine world, which uh, the efficiency itself uh, was not on the horizon directly on the agenda uh, up till now and this, at this conference, but anyhow, some, in, in the background, we, we can also uh, detect that efficiency plays uh, I mean, the efficiency of the grape and, and wine making uh, plays a very, uh, very important role in the in the formulation of the uh, competitiveness of different countries. So, um, this is a very general um, outline of a presentation. So, first, I'm going to why this topic might be interesting for the audience. And uh, I refer back to some recent literature which emphasized not directly the efficiency itself, but much more the, 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 uh, the surrounding, uh, surrounding world. So first, uh, the, um, the, this uh, uh, paper was uh, emphasizing the emergence of new uh, wine, mar uh, wine markets. First, in the, at the end of the last century, it was very characteristic for Europe, especially for Northern Europe and North America. And uh, later on, uh, these new markets have uh, arisen uh, uh, in, in Asia countries. It was uh, one chance for the, uh, for, for the new wine, make, uh, wine world to increase their, their trade uh, within these countries. And at, it was, it was the, the time when they, the, the trade uh, came up quite uh, quite uh, uh, progressively. The next paper I'm referring to is uh, Fleming et al. Uh, they compare 10 wine growing, wine exporting countries, four of them uh, from the old wine world and the, the others from the new wine world from the southern hemisphere. And uh, uh, they um, underlined and stated that the, the final two decades of the 20th century, the internalization of the wine production and the consumption continued to ac accelerate. It was again a new chance for the uh, uh, new wine world. Fleming at, uh, and others, they, uh, they emphasized that the traditional markets diversified and the mapping of the international wine trade became increasingly routinized, so very similar to the other trade uh, characters of other, other goods and services all around the world. So uh, this, uh, uh, another recent paper um, um, tried to figure out the, the, that uh, the efficiency itself, how it is uh, looking uh, how characters are, how, how uh, it is characterized by the technical efficiency between 2005 and 2013, and uh, it might be the reason behind the relative performance, I mean Spain and uh, Italy, uh, that uh, they experienced a rather low, low level of uh, technical efficiency. And another point is that uh, they also find that found, they found that uh, macroeconomic factors play a very, very important role in the formulation of technical efficiency. And I am also referring to our previous uh, paper uh, from 2014 that uh, we, in a two-stage uh, investigation analysis, we, we also realized that there is a big uh, difference between the old and new wine world countries with respect to their uh, technical efficiency. And also we referred also to these uh, macroeconomic factors. Um, so the, coming to the uh, theoretical consideration, I'm not uh, referring to especially to the uh, um, modeling of stochastic frontier analysis later, and we will, I will show that uh, we applied stochastic frontier analysis. But uh, much more, I'm referring to the uh, macroeconomic factors which might uh, affect the technical efficiency. The one is the openness to trade, international trade. The more open uh, in this aspect the country is, it might it experience an, um, a higher technical efficiency. And several studies 
prove that uh, empirically. The next uh, uh, macroeconomic factor is the development of the financial system. It is very much uh, 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 related to the to the development of. Uh, I mean, the, the, they, they can uh, through the new allocation of the capital, they, they are able to share the risk with other uh, um, uh, investors. So this is a, a next factor. The quality of human capital uh, is uh, uh, quite. Uh, um, uh, clear, I, I would say that uh, the quality might help in absorbing new technologies. So this is why the quality of human capital plays a uh, very important role in this respect. And the tradition of wine is also a factor which can improve the efficiency of uh, wine uh, producing. So uh, uh, based on these uh, uh, theoretical uh, considerations, we put four uh, uh, hypothesis extended with the fifth one, which is uh, belonging to the new wine world, uh, may help in increasing the uh, technical efficiency. Um, we used data from 20 different countries. Uh, from the new wine world, we uh, use these countries, and the old wine world, mostly European uh, countries. Uh, the data coverage was uh, from 1905 to 2000, uh, sorry, 2010, and we uh, applied the uh, y, quant produced, uh, y quantity produced, the vineyard area, employed labor, total capital, trade, financial system, human capital, wine consumption, and belonging to old or new wine world. These were the, our variables. We uh, uh, the as, as I mentioned, we applied the Stastic Frontier uh, analysis with simultaneous estimation of a Cobb Cob Douglas production frontier and, and uh, together with the inefficiency with the log log specification. Uh, with the respect to the inefficiency distribution, we uh, used truncated and, and uh, exponential, no, exponential uh, um, distribution and for the uh, testing f uh, of uh, heteroscedastics, we, we, we used uh, also the uh, 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 variable to test for that heteroscedasticity. So the, these are the um, uh, descriptive statistics. Uh, first for the new wine world, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you can see, and also the, for the uh, old wine world, uh, and uh, for the results, for the results, um, so I, I would just emphasize that the our production function estimation shows almost the same characteristics everywhere. So it uh, surprisingly the labor uh, shows up uh, uh, negative uh, negative impact on on, uh, on on the frontier on the production. As for the uh, inefficiency, we can say that we can see that everywhere we got the uh, the, the sign of the of the uh, of different factors uh, which we expected. So uh, regarding that the uh, inefficiency is a negative uh, value, the negative value of the parameter uh, shows that increases the efficiency. So it's it's. Uh, on the opposite side, so the openness has got a positive uh, sign, a positive effect on the efficiency. Also, the financial system, the the development of the human capital, and also the wine consumption. And uh, as for the belonging to the old or new wine world, we can see that uh, uh, the old wine world has a very very great negative effect on the in on the efficiency. So discussion, coming to the discussion, wine area and capital plays positive and significant role in production technology. Labor is overemployed according to our estimation and the results. Openness, development of the financial system and human capital, wine, wine consumption and belonging to the new wine world positively influence technical efficiency. However, financial system is not significant. The Idiosyncratic error is better explained if using wine area as explanatory variable. 
the error declines with the area increase. The reason behind might be that on bigger area, more homogeneous and more developed technology can be applied. Uh, inefficiency is overestimated by uh, 10 to 20 percent in case of heteroscedastic estimation. So what might be uh, the processes behind? Uh, uh, we can observe two totally different parts of production fundamentals uh, between two, uh, 95 and 2010. You can see for the new wine world, these are the old uh, uh, characteristic growth rates. And for the old wine world, uh, you see, uh, you can see just the opposite almost, except the uh, growth rate of the quantity. And uh, coming back to the conclusions, so our five uh, hypotheses, all of them are confirmed, however, financial system is not significant. And uh, for the old wine world, we can uh, state that uh, they were not able to cope with the new trade and consumption patterns. Production fundamentals ought to be reconfigured. And for the new wine world, successful utilization of new chances and efficiency, they, they gave efficient answer to trade and consumption challenges. And I found this, uh, which is characteristic for the intercontinental New, uh, new York Berkeley Hotel. It's uh, for the single institution for the, uh, the, the hotel. The old, the, the both side is characteristics. However, in our case, uh, uh, referring it to our uh, uh, sample, our case, the old wine world uh, has got uh, some kind of old world charm, but the new wine world has, has got a very efficient feature. Thank you.